Welcome, thank you very much. I'm Ricardo. This is a Tuatera vehicle, all electric 1500. What we'll do is we'll come around here and kind of look at this very versatile vehicle. Uh, it's not your typical vehicle, as you can notice, it is all steel. One of the first things that stands out, robust, got tie downs, very utilized in compartments. Starting on the front, we can do 350 pounds on that front side. We can do 150 pounds on this top rack up here. If you move back to the actual dump bed itself, we can do 1,200 pounds safely to lift. If you open all three sides, it does open up into a natural flatbed. And on that flatbed, it's real nice. You can load pallets, you can do some other things. You can also dump with those open as well. Below, we have a two inch ball hitch as well. It is interchangeable, so if you needed to slide this out, we actually have a pin lock as well, and we can actually do uh, square tubing in there and make it a lot easier so you can haul a little more for uh, other items. Coming around the vehicle on, on this side, our battery banks sit underneath the seats. We have roughly about 13 kilowatt in here right now of battery potential. We can do another 13 if needed. Charging is gonna be right here on this front side. We can charge at 110 volt and 220 volt. Just in front, we do have a winch as well. A towing capacity, 2,500 pounds. A little more about the vehicle inside as we go. What we'll do is we'll do two clicks to the right to engage the vehicle. You'll get a welcome screen that'll come on. On the welcome screen, it'll tell you basically the SOC, which is the state of charge. That's that bottom right corner. That is the main lithium battery. We wanna make sure that that's you know, charging, stays culpable, and you're always looking at that when you're operating the vehicle. To the left of that, on the very other side, you'll have a 12 volt uh, battery voltage there. Those are the two batteries that you'll always wanna be aware of. Currently you are in neutral operating the vehicle and if you were going to put this in drive so you can see it change, it'll engage to a D and now we're ready to go. This vehicle is ready to go if you were to step on that gas pedal and go forward and move it. Uh, a couple of great features about this vehicle looking forward uh, is we have differential locks. We can do two wheel, four wheel drive. If we get into any hairy situation, not a problem. We can lock the differentials, we can do front, Okay, which also comes up on the, the screen as well and it shows that that is engaged. And then we can engage the next one if needed and that will also come in. Therefore, all the tires will move together, allowing us better traction and really a lot of unmatched torque and power to get out of some of the like bad situations. So it's really nice to have these. I do recommend not to have these engaged always have the, the car stop before you engage them. We have up and down, which is gonna be our dump bed, our electric dump bed. And we'll go ahead and engage that right now. This is a worm drive, a little slower, but a lot safer. Um, as you will see, we do have a couple options with our tires. This is an ATV tire. We have uh, a high grip tire, which would be more of your mud off-road tire. And then we have another turf tamer, which actually looks a lot like this, this uh, machine right next to us on the turf tamer option, where it's a little easier on the greens when you're on there. So we do have those three options and tire options. As you will see here, it is a liquid cooled engine. People ask what's going on and you do hear some liquid flowing through this. There is a radiator on this machine. It is important. We understand there's very high temperatures when you're working with some of these items and to be able to cool that, there is an inlet outlet that is running through the front and I'll actually open the front here for you to see. With a couple of pens that unlock right underneath to keep the latch from shaking, we do have a radiator. And so that is what is flowing in and out. This is keeping the battery cool. That, uh, this is keeping the motor cool. Yeah, the motor stays cool with this option as well. Uh, and then we have air over hydraulics. Some people ask what is the, the method of brakes here. So as I engage that, you can hear the air over hydraulics. That is engaging, it is a disc brake. All right, we're gonna work through some of the light sequence here on the Tuatera. Uh, if we engage the very first one here, we should have down on the, on the bottom side, that should just be our side lights. And then we have now our high beam up at the top. That should engage our fog lights. Move across, we have some more running daylights on. Then we have signals, left or right, and then a hazard. 
personally my favorite, the horn.